Smash Bro 2013. This is my top 10 Dreamcast games countdown list. Remember, this is my list and my personal opinion on what the top 10 Dreamcast games are. Your opinion may, de may be different, and it probably is, but keep in mind I have not played every single Dreamcast game out there and probably have not played some of the games that you think are best. So, that in mind, this is my top 10 Dreamcast countdown. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number 10, 18 Wheeler, American Pro Trucker. When I started playing this game, I just couldn't stop. I mean, it has awesome levels. It may be short and very difficult, but it's totally worth your time. Number 9, Dave Mura, Freestyle BMX. When you look at the cover of this game, you think this game's gonna be crap, but when you start playing it, the levels are awesome, the music's awesome, the game's awesome, it's got awesome tricks, everything is great. Number 8, Jet Grind Radio. I've never been able to play this game much, but it brings back memories. It's just so colorful, and getting chased by cops while you're on roller skates just tops the whole package off. Number 7, Choo Choo Rocket. It's just really quick and easy to pick up and play, and playing this with friends is just great. You're sending cats to your friend's base to knock them out, and there's a bunch of random zany things that happens in between. Number 6, Raymond 2. This is the one game in my list that I have not been able to play the original copy. I have it on the 3DS and I love it. The levels are short but still fun and it's great like Mario. Number 5, Gauntlet Legends. This game's really fun in 4 player and I really like multiplayer games where you can sit down with your friends and just have fun and that's what you do here. Number 4, Shenmue. This is a game that I didn't think I was going to like, but it was highly rated, and when you start playing it, it doesn't look too fun from the footage, but it's really a great game. You get into it and you have so much fun. Number 3, Busta Move 4. I really like Busta Move. I just started playing it maybe six months ago, maybe a little more than that, but it, it's just such a fun puzzle game, and it's simple, and I really don't like puzzle games, but this one's got me hooked especially the multiplayer. Number two, Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2 was way better than the original. It has so many more levels, so much more color, the graphics were updated, they added in like chase scenes and stuff like that. The bosses are great, you don't have to go in in between parts in the cities to figure out what to do next, and um, each character has a different type of level too, like Tails, you don't have to chase Sonic, you shoot Eggman. Number one, Crazy Taxi. Based off the music I've been playing throughout this top 10 list, you probably could have guessed this was my number one. Crazy Taxi just has great gameplay. It's really short to play, but once you get the controls down, all the moves and secret hidden spots, you just keep coming back. I mean, I can sit and play this thing for maybe 40 minutes in just one round. And in the uh, arcade mode, there's hidden people that you pick up, like the, gr the granny on the roof, and there's a pink-haired punk on the roof of the fire station, and the crazy box I didn't beat until like a month ago, or more than that, and I've been playing Crazy Taxi for well over four or five years, and once you beat the crazy box, you get the bike, and you can just put in the bike sheet before to get the bike and you just memorize these levels and it's just one of the best games I've ever played. This has been my top 10 Dreamcast countdown list. Thanks for watching. Please comment below saying which games that you think should have been in my top 10 list. But again, it's my list, not yours. Comment below. Maybe I'll pick up those games, check them out, see how awesome they are. I was going to put Resident Evil Code Veronica in there somewhere, but I haven't played it, so I couldn't put it in my top 10 list. Maybe I'll make another one later. I'm thinking about making an N64 one next. That one will be a little more in-depth, I'm thinking, because I've played a lot more N64 games than Dreamcast. But again, thanks for watching. Comment below. 
Smash Bro 2013. Good night.